this maximum. You recorded a whole video with your headset on. Dumbo. Right. Why don't I trust beauty gurus? This kind of fits along with the same lines as what Wayne Goss has just said. A uh, video of his I've just noticed. So a lot of this is kind of on the similar line, lines to what he says. What he said in his video. But I, it was just a case of... I had I was just sat there realizing I have a lot of a lot of points that kind of back him up. Now I do watch some beauty gurus such as Tate, Candice, uh, Britney Saun Britney Lee Saunders, and Kendall Ray. But Kendall Ray's not longer in the beauty community, but that's what, how how I found her. Um, and those are the only ones I watch. I don't watch people like Jeffrey Star. Um, any any of the others primarily because it's just not my bag I'm not a big makeup person as you probably gathered um, I'm not over keen on makeup to begin with so it's one of those things that you just have to be into to do the same things are easy when it's not I'll point to my anti makeup tutorials up above um, uh, they say, oh, you can do a small eye easily. I can. You can do a cut crease easily. No, I just look like somebody socked me. Um, you can do contours easily. Easy. No, it's not. When I do contour, no matter how much I try and blend, it do not work. You know, I have, I have got better, whereas before I just used to wear foundation and then wondered why my face was sticky. It's like, that's because you need translucent or sheer powder, you dumb boo boo. So there are things I have learned, but a lot of the time, I don't trust beauty gurus. I know the rest of them. Sorry, I don't. They don't always explain the difference between their sponsorships, discount codes, and affiliate codes. Now, there are a difference between discount codes and affiliate codes. Discount codes is where they give you a discount code. But that's because the company's given them a discount code. They that the particular YouTuber doesn't make money off it. Whereas with an affiliate code they do, they get a small percent of the sales deemed from the code. So you can't always trust what they say because they're not disclosing that. Which they should, but they don't. They get free stuff when they can afford things. When there are other people, like this one here, that can't afford shit. Um, I wish I had even one decent makeup palette that didn't cost more than a fiver. I wish I had one makeup, pe one item of makeup that cost more than a tenner. I don't own that. Most expensive things I probably own are foundations. And because my skin colour shifts so much, it only ever matches me for like a week or two, and then I'm like, oh, crap, don't worry, no. They tell people they have to get palette A, B, C, and D to get certain looks when I have colours that are very similar to colours that they use in these tutorials, and my palettes didn't cost like 60, 70, 200, 300 quid. It's ridiculous. This is one that really irks me. This is only going to be a short video though, so it's a good thing. Um, they try and sell expensive makeup and makeup tools to their fans when a lot of them are quite young. The amount of times I've watched young YouTubers on, on, and they've had like um, um, Urban Decay palettes and Cat Von D palettes and stuff like that. I wish I did. I don't have the money. I've got bloody bills to pay. But if I had a kid and they turn around to me at 14 and say, Can I have a cat on D pal? I'll be like, If you earn the money yourself, then yeah, you might be able to. If you do enough errands, but can I not have it for Christmas now? I ain't dropping that much money on a pal, unless it's for myself. And even then, with the amount I don't, the amount I wear makeup, there's no point because I don't wear makeup that often. If it, if it was an ev everyday thing, then yeah, I could kind of understand it, but it isn't for me. Makeup isn't an everyday thing for me because I don't need it that much. Some people might disagree with that, but there you go. A handful do do the affordable costs of makeup. 
um, which is usually between like 8 to 20 pound here in the UK well <laughs> this is a an, an, an good analogy when for me that's a week's worth of electricity so if I have to choose between electricity and piece of makeup then I'm going to choose the electricity if I've got a bit of spare money then I might might buy myself a new foundation or a, a new lippy or something but I don't usually spend that much I usually find the cheapest places I can get it from so but I do say there are many reasons I haven't mentioned but um, I'll also link Wayne's video for both as well for you to have a look at um, it is quite a good video to have a look at so um, his is how YouTube and beauty guru stopped inspiring us so it's along a very similar line of how they not that's another thing they don't I look at I can see a video from four different beauty gurus and it'd be almost the exact same look doesn't make any sense to me never mind so I'm gonna upload this tonight probably won't go live until tomorrow um, but I will check in with you later I'll probably record another couple of videos tonight but I'll check in with you later have fun and I'll see you soon